So as you can see, at first glance, it looks like the one I just showed, the full maxi. But if you, if you notice, if I stick my hand under here, it's actually partly see-through. It's not completely um, opaque. So how this works is underneath, there's opaque material. So if you notice that at this point is where that, real, that strong, not see-through material stops, it becomes a little more see-through. Now what this is good for is some of the girls who, if, you, if you're used to wearing maybe shorter dresses and you're not sure how to transition into something a little more modest, this is a great alternative because it covers you know, your full legs. When people look, they don't automatically see you know, maybe like your entire legs and stuff, but that's a little more modest, but it's also very fashionable and in the season too. And then two other dresses, I'm going to hold this blue one really quick, is um, another type of dress that I really like to wear is, um, is this type that it fits your body little, like it fits your, your body well, so it has a nice um, shape in a sense. It's not like, you know, hugging you so tightly you can see everything, but it just has a nice shape and then a it's a little longer too. Sometimes you see the dresses and they're just mid-thigh and they're kind of shorter, but, when, but a lot of times if you have something that fits you well, and then it's a little longer, it actually looks very nice and very classy too. So if you just try in different dresses, look for the right fit. And then this one I have, so I want to talk a little bit about um, the cutouts. I know this is a trend that's coming on and has been, especially in the summertime, having cutouts, whether they're across your stomach, whether they're, you know, wh wherever they are, but some of them have been, you know, it's getting more and more. So what I liked about this dress is that there are some cutouts, but they're, um, but it has a mesh material in between where the opening would be and also the cutouts are, are in areas where you know it's not like you may nec not necessarily be covered there anyways like if you're wearing a tank top and you know this top here and the sleeves aren't covered that's like this except it's covered versus having cutouts in areas that you wouldn't normally be showing so i just want to show you guys an example of maybe you know something that you know that could work with that the cutout trend thank you very much you're all set stay so next thing I want to talk about is bathing suits. So this is a very kind of iffy topic. I know everyone has different opinions on it, different ideas of what they think is okay and not okay. But I'm just going to give you guys some ideas of you know some other ways to um, to have a modest twist on maybe like a typical bikini or um, or two-piece bathing suit, but just like a little twist on that. So one of my uh, favorite ones is this one here. So um, and I understand too. I've said that. You know, there may be parents who, who don't even like this cut up here, which is okay, and you should respect that. But if you typically are someone who wears the two-piece, and this is a great alternative to that as well. So um, it's a one-piece, but there's just a little cutouts along this top area here. Um, and it just adds a little more style to it, but it still is very covering, which is great. And then I like um, this one as well. It's a tankini. I'm sure you guys have heard of these before. It's like the one-piece but cut in half. So um, I like this one because there's a lot of ruffles on it. And I think the ruffles on a bathing suit are good because it kind of distracts from maybe certain areas of your body that you don't want people looking at. Um, and versus having a bathing suit that's just completely tight to your skin, there's no extra material, you really see everything. But when there's ruffles, it just adds a little more um, playfulness to it and distracts from maybe some of your body parts is so much. So just another idea of a bathing suit that I wanted to share with you guys. So, those are some of my modest twists for more summer clothes. I know it's not summer right now, I'm aware of that, so I want to also give you guys some ideas for, you know, some fall trends and outfits and um, things coming up for the fall winter season. So, one trend that I really like is the fake fur. I know some people aren't into this, which is okay too, but um, I think it's a great way to dress up um, an outfit. Like, I love wearing it with this vest, with this, this shirt here. So they have little like um, little things in the back, shoulder, yeah, little um, pads there. And then um, if you wear it together with this, it has a cute look from the back and just like a very fashionable look. It's also very comfortable and warm too. I know sometimes um, fur can be a little intimidating to wear, or even fake fur can be intimidating to wear because it may be a little flashy or you're not used to wearing it. But you know, I think it's always fun to find ways to kind of go out of your fashion comfort zones and try different things. And that's how you can really develop and figure out what your style is for yourself. Um, this is, some people may, may not like this, but I, I love my shirt with little fur um, <laughs> shoulders and stuff. So just another idea. And basically I'm showing this just to show something that's unique. Because sometimes, you know, with fashion, there's so many different ways to do things. And 
people who might not like something, but they like something different. I'm just want to show this to show that you know it's good to to try different things, try unique things, just you know experiment a little bit with with, with your fashion, and that's how you can really develop the fashion for yourself. Um, so another thing I want to talk about is skirts. So just like dresses, skirts is something that you know there's you never know if something's too short, too long, what's going on. You know can be very iffy depending on who you're talking to. So what I have here are two skirts, good for the probably more the winter time. And what I like to do with these is to pair them with leggings or tights. So for example, if I have if I have this one and I put it with black tights and I put maybe some black boots with it, then it gives it a very like stylish look. It's comfortable and it's you know adds that modest twist to it with the with the tights. And then also for this one too, you can have maybe black tights and have more brown leather boots or something. Just try something a little different. So just a good idea to, to try different things with it. You can do that with shorts too. I know even in this winter season, people wear shorts with different types of tights and stuff, and it can give a really cute look. Okay, so I'll talk a little bit about really quickly about these necklaces here. So these are called statement necklaces. Not sure if you guys heard of statement necklaces. Okay, cool. So um, these are great because they're a really easy and quick way to dress up any outfit. I know some people may look at this and say, well, that's for prom. It's so fancy. But honestly, I wear these <coughs> in my day-to-day -day life. I think, you know, they're really fun. There's nothing wrong with, you know, wearing something a little um, fancy and, and fun to just dress up maybe a plainer outfit. Uh, just a quick way of doing that. And I want to show, show also this bracelet I have here. It's a gold cuff from Forever 21, has a cross on it. So it's always fun when you can find things with crosses or different things that represent God, and then maybe they can be conversation starters as well. People will ask you, why do you have a cross on your, you know, your bracelet? And you can say, oh, well, you know, and tell them a little bit about, you know, your experience and your relationship with God and stuff. So those are some um, little tools for that. So moving on, so based on what you heard, some of the things I've talked about, little you know ideas I use to, to make things, give things a modest twist, what are some fashion modest rules you can set for yourself? Now, um, this is just a conversation I want you guys to start with yourselves and start thinking about. You can maybe write a few things down and just con continue that um, that thought process. And you know, while you're shopping, no matter what, you're always gonna should be in that, that mindset of thinking, okay, should I, is this appropriate, is this not? It's a constant battle. So if you guys want to just take a few minutes and write down some things right away, right now. If you guys have a pen, let me know too. We're actually going to skip through some of this stuff. So basically, I just um, these websites I put on your uh, your paper because just ideas of other. Um, if you're looking for more fashion ideas to find something that's more your style, maybe what I showed is not your style at all, and that's totally fine. But there are people out there who are, are very fashionable, and if you find someone that you really clicks with you and you're saying, oh, I like this style, and you follow their blogs or whatever it is, you have a lot of style ideas. Now, if it's not a Christian, or even if it is a Christian, you still have to be aware and say, okay, this is cute, but should I be wearing this? What kind of message is it sending, too? Um, also, same thing, picking maybe like a style icon or someone, or a celebrity or someone you think dresses modestly and fashionably, and you're interested in um, and looking at more of their outfits. So, if you, want, if you like any names, you can write down those names there, too. Okay, and then lastly, um, so I'm doing a little giveaway. So if you guys, um, if you go on my Facebook page, and or also if you don't have a Facebook, but you have Instagram, and you like my, uh, follow my email on Instagram and follow me on Facebook, then you'll be entered for a giveaway. And I'm gonna, I don't have the exact everything, I don't know exactly what I'll be giving away yet, but it'll be a little assortment of things and it'll be good. So trust me on that. So if you guys go on and like that, um, also check out my, uh, my website and um, you can get more ideas of some things I talk about and um, and do on there. So we actually have, I don't think, yeah, the session starts at 3.05, right? Is that the, 
Uh, do you have a discussion? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. We probably should. We probably should end here then. There's some discussion points later, and just think through them yourself. That'll be just as good. So, thank you everyone for coming. I hope you enjoyed this, and enjoy your last session.